Test my headphones. You testing your headphones out? Yeah, let me snap this audio. And I think that's a good angle there. What do you want to have for lunch today? Ooh, I'm going to mix it up and do a sandwich. <laughs> or you could do some soup, a salad. That soup you got? is pretty bomb. What was it? Baked potato? Loaded baked potato. With bacon, yes. cheese, and then whatever loaded baked potato. Mm. Well, we have broccoli and cheese. Oh, I could do that. And you got chicken noodle when, when we're feeling like we want to have a cheat meal, I guess. <laughs> chicken noodle? I, wait, listen, beggars can't be choosers. I know. I had to get what I could. Well, that's what's t what's difficult is, and I'm I'm excited too. Um, oh, let's let's do our little intro here. Um, welcome everyone to the Freddie and Alyssa okay. show. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We have a lot of really cool interviews coming up. Um, mm -hmm. uh, a a um, very highly requested guest is on the podcast highly today. Highly requested. And I'd like to keep it as a surprise like we were going to do in the past, but I remember we put everyone's name in the title, so they, they already know the Several surprise. Knows. But we've got Robert Scott Wilson in the house today, and we're yes. going to uh, conference him in on the Zoom. Um, but I want to talk to him about his, because he's in incredible shape, yeah. um, of how he's uh, staying fit and uh, what he's eating. Because with, with you and I, we, we are, um, we're using that app to order food, mm -hmm. but I just feel like there's no, like I just want to buy like chicken breast. Well, so basically the one I've been using is shipped. There's also like Instacart, there's Amazon Prime, which I could never get a delivery window from them. But you go through and scroll in the app and they'll have the groceries that are available. And obviously right now, you know, with everything going on, it's a lot harder to grab stuff we used to normally eat. Like remember yesterday you go, you looked at the fridge, you're like, I feel like we're on vacation. Like, this isn't what our fridge usually looks no. like. Because we were just kind of getting what we could. Um, but with all of the different types of products and items out there, for them to be able to at least have some of them in the app and to get, you know, essentials. We have a family size <laughs> frozen box of corn dogs. That is not essential. <laughs> And I'm trying to make like shorter trips. Like I, I don't, I want to just get a bunch of stuff and not have to worry about it. And I was like, corn dogs. I mean, freezer corn dogs. They were delicious too. So I don't hate. <laughs> you know, what was interesting to me is that they, they say if you, you put it in the microwave, it's 48 seconds. Uh huh. And I, I kept thinking of the person who had to test that years ago. <laughs> They're like, now 47 is undercooked. 49. 50 or 49 is just ridiculous. It's burnt. 48. It's 48 <laughs> seconds. And they were right. It was it was delicious. But yeah, it, it's just really tough, you know, having the, because I'm all about the portions. Yeah. Like when you have those family size bags of chips, I'm screwed. I know. I need the little fun get. packs they so that I know, oh, this is 140 those. calories. That's good. We, we got the bag of barbecues well, gone well, in three what days. What I was trying to tell you, what you do, the trick is you open up the bag, you grab a handful, you put it on a plate, and then you roll the bag back up, put it away, and you're only allowed what's on the plate. <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah. Easier so said than done. We'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, we, we will. Um, and I'm curious, too, if you, if you, if you all want to comment below, um, kind of how everything's going. Yeah. I feel like we, we've been watching, um, you know, this, this progression, and it feels like a lot more people are finally, like, taking it really serious. Like, we're on the level of 100%, like, completely completely serious quarantine. like gloves and masks when we leave the house we're wiping down everything we're we haven't left the house in five days everything is being shipped we're having them leave it outside the door yep. um but we even even in our building though like it just seems like spring break like everyone is out you can hear them yeah everyone's talking enjoying having a good time and so it's just interesting but i just don't feel it's my place but it kind of is our place anything. to be like hey everyone well, like you shouldn't happen? be with people and you shouldn't be the, the only congregating. people that you should ever come into contact with are the ones you live with. If you have to leave the house, if you have to go to the grocery store or pharmacy, if you have to go do that, gloves, masks, if you can't like make, literally I saw this really cool video about taking um, the t-shirt like the, or the sleeve. Oh, you just from, put it right over. Yeah. You just cut it off. You put it over. You can make your own at home, but you have to be really, really intentional about this because what's going to happen is everyone who's still hanging out with their friends or saying, oh, yeah, you know, it's fine. I know where they've been. I trust them because people are still doing that. But once this really gets bad, 
that's when all these people start taking it seriously. Well, the thing that I just want to remind people, and yet again, not a doctor, just doing my civil duty to keep us all safe here. You can be asymptomatic in its entirety. Mm-hmm. You might never know. And you might just go like, just like this. Yep. You, you ish your nose, you're in a conversation, you yep. touch something, or you could be showing no symptoms for 14 days. Yep. That's what's making this tricky. Yep. Is that before we would live in a world where if you had the flu, you would know you had it right away. And we've kind of all had precautions of how to deal with that. But this is highly contagious. And a lot of people aren't showing symptoms. So just be, yeah, let's, just be a little more aware. We're not going to have this be a Debbie Downer. Um, who's Debbie, by the way? Why did she get the Debbie Downer thing here? Know. Sorry, Debbie. We have Debbie. a really fun podcast. Yeah, we have a really fun podcast. We just want to, you know, it, it's it's important, though, to always address just the elephant in the room. Peeps. Stay informed. Stay home. Stay home. Um, you know, and, and so this way we can get back to living our I lives, back life. to work, and <laughs> and save a lot of people's lives, too. Yeah. yeah, and just so we can, like, get our lives going, you know. But we have another 30 days, at least, of everyone chilling. Yeah. So let's use this time to reflect and enjoy and catch up with friends and family and all that good stuff. But we're going to shift it. We're going to shift it. Because baby. we have a positive man who we're going to yes, connect we with do. right now. And and uh, and He's we're such very, a good very excited. Guy. We're excited. Such a good guy. And um, we're going to ask him some questions, too, about days. Uh, see if uh, he has any intel of what kind of went down there, which I'm sure yeah. he will. Um, and uh, so that's going to be really great. So uh, without further ado, let's bring him up on Zoom, yes, and we will chit-chat with the Robert Scott Wilson. <laughs> what, what else am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is great. You guys are like the highlight of my day for sure, my week. Have you been like, – uh, yeah. let me make sure I get this audio right. And we are recording. Um, how – how have you been uh, spending your days? Are you chatting with family and friends on video chat or on the phone or? Yeah, yeah, no, this this has been a lifesaver. This is my first Zoom. You just took my Zoom virginity, which is yeah. awesome. I hope it was as, as good for you as it was for me. It's the foreplay is uh, going well. We're just getting there. We're just getting uh, there. No, FaceTiming, yeah, but FaceTiming and, and just calling my, my family. And honestly, the one, one of the, blessings of this whole thing was like being able to reconnect with people I haven't talked to in forever. Some family, some friends that I haven't seen or talked to in many years. It's like everybody's checking in on everybody. So right now it's like just one of those times, man, just looking out for, you know, everybody back home. Exactly. I feel like, I, th- I feel like before we, we, everyone just has such a busy schedule that when you have a long day of work, we just never made time to like make the 20, 30 minute phone call. Cause you're exhausted. You had to like work the next day. So everyone was kind of insular, sure. but now we have this unlimited time and you're just so appreciative of reconnecting. I almost feel like I'm in high school again in a weird way where I'm aware of there how much a- time I have that I'm cool just like wasting time hanging with people that I love and having a great time rather than being oh, yeah. rushed. Dude, it, I'm, I've like succumbed to the whole thing of like, you know, we don't have to be going stir crazy right now. Like I applaud you guys for being able to, you know, still make your podcast, be creative and do it. I've kind of been in a place where, I'm just resetting. And I was like, for 10 years, I've been just constant, like, what's next, what's next, what's next? This is like a forced opportunity to kind of just reset and realign and, and, and you know, my, whether you be your, your soul or your health or your mindset, whatever it may be, um, even though we're all getting fucking crazy in here. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's still an opportunity to kind of sit with your thoughts, yeah. kind of f- figure out new ways to get through the time and, you know, just let this pass, man. This too shall pass. Yep. It really is a reset on humanity though, because all the things that we used to worry about before, and I'm talking even for being a a woman and beauty and all that, you realize like, that's not what matters. It's really like, I'm just grateful to have water and food and to be healthy and at home and a roof over my head. Exactly. Eye opener this entire thing. Exactly. Exactly. No, it's, it's a, it's a wild time, but it's a new lesson, man. How are you guys holding up? We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're just like, I think we're just going with the times. Like at first we were questioning, like, you know, how real was everything in the sense of the severity of it? You know, like, are we going to run out of toilet paper? We went through that phase and then it was like, oh, wait a minute. We should like lice all things down. And now we're all the way to the point where we're not even going grocery shopping. We're just having it delivered and we haven't left the house in five days. Wow. Good work. Well, that's, that's the right way to do it. Sorry guys. Um, I was doing that in conjunction with like making little trips here and there when like I needed to go to the grocery store. But now I've just taken like a giant shot 
and got everything I needed for like two weeks as much as I possibly could that last trip to the grocery store. Yeah. But I'm already like, I've already eaten through all my quarantine snacks. So I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah I'm, still I'm just like, stuck with like the healthy, I'm stuck with like the healthy stuff. And I'm like, this is not going to suffice during the quarantine. Um, but no, it's, it's something else, man. This is a wild 2020. I did not expect 2020 to go this I way. I know. Well, do you but, find it pretty hard to eat healthy during this time? Because I feel like every time when we would go to the grocery store now that we order it, it's very difficult to get. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, we got too much time on our hands now. So it's like I was already like, if I ate bad because I have like a sweet tooth, I eat all day long. So it's like if I did that, I could at least go to the gym and really get it and just work harder. Here, it's like I have to motivate myself to like actually do my workouts here or like stay active and keep myself going to kind of burn off all the snacks or whatever awesome snacks. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm trying to eat clean. I'm trying as best I can, but what are you going to do, man? I know. Yeah, I'm trying my best. Yeah, are you, uh, are you thinking of, I mean, we obviously have to stay here for a while. How, did you ever think about heading back to, to Boston? I know we're kind of stuck now, but what, how's, how's everyone doing back home? Yeah, I mean, my mom, she she doesn't work within the hospital, but she works for the hospital. She does um, diagnostic imaging. She runs like the, the office for, you know, x-rays and things like that. So she sees everything firsthand still, just not the front line. Um, but she's doing well. They're getting a little a little crazy out there, too. Um, Massachusetts got hit pretty hard. And um, I'm just, you know, keeping her in my prayers and making sure she keeps her immune system up, just like all of us, regardless. Um, but I haven't thought about... I, yeah, well, no, I take that back. I did thought about, like, going to Boston for a little while, but I don't know, man. It's just such a bad idea to be hopping on planes right now. You know, I just – I feel like I can – I'm going to wait it out a little bit. If this goes past, you know, May, like, deep quarantine and there's an opportunity to leave, maybe I'll think about it. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna kind of stay stationed for the time being. We're in the exact same boat. We're like, if this – because I'm, I'm afraid of the uh... – if it's going to like go away and then come back again mm -hmm. where it's like, Oh, we might have a whole summer. And then if it comes back in the fall, what's that mean? And like, are we exactly. going to again? So yeah. we're kind of just waiting and maybe in June, if it clears up and it's a little safer, like we might head East because her family's in Jersey, mine's in Ohio. And right. least, well, I was going to say Jersey, I mean, Jersey's, that's a tough okay. spot right now too. Cause I New know. York is so, so hit, but um, to go to Ohio, that's what I was going to say. That might be a, pretty good idea too ohio is pretty good right now i mean it's it's in the lower uh of, yeah. of the infected you know it's it's doing pretty good so that could be an option but i'm glad for my family you know that they're they're in a safer place because you know they're in their 60s and so it's going to be nice to keep them Absolutely. safe uh oh, yeah. is janelle's family from there too is janelle uh, she's, she's she's in her family's in east boston yeah she's on she's on the phone with her sister right now um just trying to connect man you know talk to as many people as we possibly can um but yeah, her family is, they're all doing their thing. Everybody's trying to just get through this whole period of time. You know, we had a lot of friends back home too that are in like restaurant businesses and stuff like that. And they just got, the, they're taking it really the hardest. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a wild time, man. It, it really is, but <laughs> we'll is get through it. What is 2020? What is going on, dude? <laughs> Dude, you have such a good setup, though. We, were, we weren't recording that. yet. Uh, before, before, we, um, uh, before we leave, I want to check out your whole workout area. Uh, but you're fortunate that you actually have a rooftop. We're in this, this like, bunker, and uh, we have nowhere to go outside. I mean, we can go on the sidewalk, but we're in such a busy street. There's people everywhere. So really? what are you, a little yeah, I don't wanna, there. we're recording. I'm not going to ask you your address, but like you're in Studio City, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, we're, we're near um, Hugo's and Whole Foods off of Riverside. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So Dude, you guys are right down the street from me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're, you're close. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a little busy. I mean, I'm right off of like a, two busy roads, but I'm so grateful for this space, man. Like it's my little Zen spot through all this, you know, that's good. I I didn't use this much, and now I'm like, now I need it. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did the, um, how did the, uh, information break with, uh, with days? What, what went on there? Did they just email people and say, Hey, we're shutting down or what went? Okay. Yeah. That's actually it's something good to talk, uh, touch on. No, literally in the middle of scenes, my scenes I'm, I'm filming where I thought it was going to be like a lunch break. We had probably another like 15, 20 minutes before lunch broke, but we, we had a bunch of stuff lined up and we're in the middle of it. We're doing our thing. And, um, right after we finished one of the scenes, not even like a normal break or anything they just got on the speaker and was like hey can everybody come to stage two we all gathered around and we pretty much were 
assuming it was going to be about this. This was um, this was the thirteenth. This was Friday the thirteenth. Oh and, um, wow! Yeah, that was our last day, and we already were going to be off. We we're going to have a dark week that following, and they pretty much gathered us around. And Albert, you know, held court and just said that we we're going to be um, adding at least one additional week. And then as soon as we left, and the news really started striking that Saturday. I think the most was the fourteenth when that like quarantine word started mm -hmm. floating around LA a lot and everywhere um we, we knew right away we we're going to be shelved for a while so right now we're just suspended until further notice we don't even know when we're going back just like everybody I mean we're in the same boat as everybody else you know um so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up I'm gonna shoot a, a, a text to, to Albert or, or somebody I'm gonna reach out and try to get some words soon but for right now I mean I think we're all kind of in this same position no matter what you're doing you know it, so, yeah, everything's and then, halted. Well, and that's and that's what's interesting too to see what's going to come back because eventually, you know, Netflix even Days has you know a bunch of episodes in the can, right? So they'll be able to air things probably through October. But yeah, that's the thing. I remember. Know, I mean, they were about to start writing. I think Christmas. So I mean, we're we're good through October, maybe almost November. But my God, we've been so many months ahead for so long, dude. That like it would be weird to be that close to air date you know to film christmas before christmas break <laughs> like when we're actually in the spirit of christmas that'd be no bizarre. kidding no kidding we have no idea what that's like we've been shooting we've been shooting the horton town square christmas tree in july for like <laughs> fucking five years how long have you been working on days it's been a while. um i started i yeah i started um well i did the two year and then i left and then i i kind of was doing you know a little popping in a little bit time to time to throw gas on the fire and um then I started like another contract again in what, 18? So in total, I started in 2014. So I've been, wow. yeah, I started my bid in 2014. <laughs> Dude, I remember we worked so much together when you first started. Dude, and I our know. Characters You're like never, never crossed ever again. I know, so, like, man. Ben and Sonny, you were like my only friend. You were my boss. Yeah. That Aww. was awesome. Yeah. I miss that, man. I miss that. Did you work at the coffee shop? Was it that or? No, I worked at, um, TVD. Yep. Oh, it's that the club. Uh, <laughs> well, it's Love interesting TV. because the thing that happens over at Days, um, or at least in my experience, when you, I think that's how we got super close to the beginning. It's like everyone you work with on a date on the regular, you become really close with. But then when you don't work with somebody, it ends up just being a hello in the hallway relationship because everyone's so damn busy. And yeah, there's are so around. You're, like, you're, trying, you're hoping Hi. you can get your scene partner to run scenes. Like you hope there's time to be able to do that. So like everything else is kind of just like, hey dude, how you doing? Are you good? All right, cool. You know, <laughs> you know? exactly, I know. man. I know. You always have, you always have great energy, and I, I really admire that about you. You stay so positive, and I love your Instagram you too, stories. Always doing like positive stuff. Is that is that always been? I know your energy's always been that way, but have you always like intentionally practiced that kind of thing, or is it just come I naturally mean, over time? Dude, I have I have my moments where I definitely fall into my my little you know holes too man you know so i gotta dig myself up whether or not i can preach it i have to start practicing it more but um i do try to i try to you know adjust my thoughts if i can um and keep myself in the right you know mindset and sometimes just speaking it out loud and, and saying it and, and or maybe posting it whatever it may be i just feel like it helps me cultivate that more hmm. um and hopefully for other people that's the ultimate goal because we're all vibing off each other you know um but yeah i, tr I try my best man i try my best so yeah. no, I appreciate it. Dude, you two always get energy, man. Always. Aww. Yeah. We, I mean, we're the same way though. You like have to, I always like to share with people too. You have to, it, it, you're pretty much choosing to do so. Like there's times that I go off, you know, in the privacy of my own home where I'm just <laughs> yeah, like, of course. You're just playing and you're just bitching and moaning and you have to remind of yourself to be grateful. But, but out and about, I'm always like, I don't want to take it out on people. Like when I was younger, I feel like I would have taken it out on random people. And so I've sure. grown through that where I'm like, Put positivity out there. Deal with your own crap at home. Exactly. And grow from it. So. That's, all, that's all we can do, man. You know, if there's, if there's one thing that my mother truly instilled in me was, was faith. And whether you can take that in, in for whatever, you know, way you want. But I believe faith is just having positivity and, and, and knowing that things will be all right. And, and that right there has kind of catapulted everything. My, my regular life, my work life, just whatever, you know, just having positive faith in things and knowing we'll get through this, you know. We've got some wild times ahead, but 
Get and I it. feel too for us something like a little trick, if you will, that I kind of do to stay positive is if I have negative thoughts and I'm upset, I you can't say it out loud. It's like whatever you say out loud, you're gonna manifest. You gotta try and keep it as positive. And I try and have him do this too. Yeah, it's sometimes you just can't do it. I know, but and it is what it is. I mean, we're only human. We're only human, but still course. I get it. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> like if I say something, I'm like, I didn't mean that. Like I'll literally Yeah, say, totally. Like, like if I said that out loud, I'd be like, no, I take that back. I'm good. I'm grateful. No, I don't mean that, but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what were you uh what I don't know if I ever asked you or we ever talked about it. What what was your uh like growing up like, like high school? Like what were like the like sports or just in general? Like were you an academic kid? Were you a D student, no, an A student? Play I was like I was an in between. I mean, I excelled in certain classes. It wasn't like I loved any of my classes. I wish I did. I liked, I kind of gravitated towards certain of my, like whatever teachers they were, whatever friends were in my class. I was not Mr. Academics. I made on a roll a few times. I've never failed a class, but I wasn't like some like brainchild. Um, I was very hit or miss when it came to, if I wanted to learn something or I wanted to do something, it consumed in my world. Um, and if I didn't care, I really didn't care. <laughs> like, that was pretty much it. Um, sports wise, yeah, man. Um, growing up in Massachusetts where sports towns dude so it was like I didn't get into you know film and tv and everything until after I was you know an adult I didn't start this whole industry until I was about was I 21 I think I was 21 or 22 um but I played basketball and football through middle school and part of high school um middle of high school I I was I don't know if you know but I, I played paintball I don't know if you heard dude no yeah I see, sense, I'm like I traveled all over the yeah. yeah, I used to travel, so like uh, all over the world, playing events all over the country and et cetera. But um, middle of high school, I really hit the gas with that, and it took me all over the place, so I just stopped playing sports and was traveling and playing paintball, having like the time of my life. So it was what? fucking awesome. Um, what is that? What is that? What, what's the, how did like, you dig more so into the paintball thing? That's really interesting. Yeah. Like how'd you start? Yeah. What's, what's the events like? Yeah, so in a nutshell, um, it, it, tor tournament paintball, it's played on a, on a turf field. It's grown different ways over the many many years it didn't start on turf but it's on a turf field it's it's set up i don't even know the yardage maybe 60 yards apart and it's a mirrored field on each side it's five on five it's got a scoreboard that's set up kind of like a hockey so there's like two periods and uh, or excuse me there's two halves um but there's like you know it's kind of hard to explain which is part of the reason why it's probably not as popular yeah. um as it used to be anyway but it's it's the best sport ever and i recently like just got back into it um, within the past like year and a half, I jumped on a team out here in LA and I've been practicing and playing with them now, which is the best because I missed it so much. Um, but it's super fun, man. It's so fun. It's not, it's, there's like two sides of the, uh, of the paintball world. There's like the scenario, the game side, which is like your camouflage and you're out in the woods and you're like, it's kind of like a war game scenario. And then there's the sport of it, which is like on the, on the, on the field and, um, like on the turf field and. We we'll have to send some pictures to you. So you can yeah, yeah, that's we, so cool. We've I, you actually there was a Fourth of July. This was back when we lived across the street from you, and I remember there was yes. a Fourth of July, and we were partying the night before, and you were I sick. I didn't make it to the. And ball. I went paintballing with buddies, and I don't remember where it was, but it was somewhere like a thirty-minute drive or an hour drive. Yes, it's like a huge dirt arena, and there was different courses you could play in and rent all the equipment. And it's yeah, here yeah, in LA. Might, I don't remember where it was. Yeah, there's um. I mean, there's a few around here. I play up in Castaic a lot. That's where we practice, which is about 30 minutes from here at 35. It's, it's really not bad. It's, um, it's like the same exit as Magic Mountain. Um, so we practice up there, but our tournaments are usually in San Diego because I'm not traveling. Like, I'm not doing the national circuit thing anymore. Um, I just – it's hard with our schedule, dude, with the show. You know that. Like, yeah. it's hard to commit to something where you got to commit these, these weeks, including Thursdays, Fridays, not just weekends, you know, um, for eight months out. But – We've been we've been playing um, tournaments up in San, or down in uh, San Diego. Okay, which is awesome. in, in that'd Camp be fun Hell's to like Google and like look or like check one of those out. Cause is it is it the uh, uh, dude? If you ever want to play, you tell me one man. Go <laughs> I would any time, like dude. I week. would love that. I used to do it in the woods growing up all the time, and we would you know shoot each other and leave with tons of bruises, and it was all it was a lot of fun. <laughs> It's but where, best, is, is the skill set of it, obviously, the strategy of the team and then when your individual Dude, ability to, like – There's, le there's levels of it, man. This is like – yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's definitely something that takes time. Uh, it's definitely not just going out in the woods and playing. And you'd, you'll see as soon as, like – because I'm going to take you to a practice. And okay. it's like, we're going we're gonna to get – you're going to get the full fucking experience. Great. 
and uh, you'll 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 gauge for yourself what I'm talking about. It's it's very committed. You have to be committed to kind of compete and to win, and it's a very expensive sport if you're not sponsored. So it's like one of those things that there's a lot of money involved for people spending it, but not a lot to make it back. So everybody's very competitive, but it just adds that much more to like the game. It's it's really fucking awesome. It's really fun. Cool. You sold me. I want to go. <laughs> yeah, that'll yeah, be great, not, dude, dude. Billy, Billy came with me. Uh, it's been. I got probably like three or four years now, but for our birthday, my buddy surprised me and uh, he hit up Billy and we went down and played in um, Hollywood Sports Park. It's this little field in, uh, I want to say Bell. It's like right past downtown. Okay. I want to say that's where it was. But um, yeah, Billy played. Billy played. That was so fun, man. That's great, dude. Yeah, I want to get back out and get, I, I like miss those kind of activities and four wheeling and I like did all that stuff growing up. And then when I got to LA, I just became soft. <laughs> I play a little like basketball. This don't do that to you, bro. We got to remember Ohio, never lose those Ohio roots. <laughs> I know, I know. I always look you know? at my life and I'm like, my dad like will make fun of me. It's like, cause I like hire people to like hang shit in the house. He's oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The You're picture. a task rabbit. You're like, I'm not fucking hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Does that, I have to get on a step stool? No. <laughs> absolutely not absolutely yeah so i gotta get back to my roots a little bit but no we, we've been um this june will be 14 years though that i've been out here in la and wow you know, i've basically known more la than because you don't remember as a kid as much you know so i feel like more than half my life um that i remember what? has been out here wow. oh my god 14 years wow man good for you wait well, hey, man you've you laid a nice, oh, solid track. Have you been out uh, here? I just had my, my 10-year anniversary, um, wow. the beginning of last month now, March 4th. Huh. March 4th, I hit my 10-year mark. And then the following week, it's an apocalypse. <laughs> Unbelievable. Happy 10 years. <laughs> 10 years, we did it. We did it. Dude, that's incredible. We've been out here since 14. Yeah, man. Like, 14. For 14 years. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah, it's wow. been a, it's been a good run. It, it just, it, it feels like, um, I mean, it feels like a lifetime, but then it also feels like it was just yesterday. It's like a weird combination when you look back and, um, you know, so but even for myself, like leaving, like the weird timing of the coronavirus, even for myself, because when, when I left days, like, and then three weeks later, the coronavirus happened. So oh, it was crazy. kind of like, oh, I'm going to like, what's my next step in life? And I'm going to like, and then everything shut down. But I actually came at a good time because like you said at the beginning of this, we're able, there's no rush. I don't feel like I'm missing out. So I'm able to just sit in my thoughts and in my life and really reevaluate like when this is over, what do I want to spend my time doing? What was exactly. I in the hamster wheel with or what, what yes. do I really want yes. to do? Yeah. And um, so I have the time exactly. to think about it before I make any rash decisions. So exactly. Well, we're, we're all, we're all on, uh, on ice right now anyway, man. But what, so what have you been doing outside of obviously now we all got some time on our hands, but besides your podcast and everything to like keep busy. Just watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> What's number one for you so far? What, what has been your favorite watch recently? Ooh, probably for me, Tiger King. Did you watch that? So, yeah, it was just the most it was entertaining insane. thing to me. It was just so entertaining. Every, like, that's like the two most common words right now, are quarantine and Tiger King. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, everybody's talking about that. It's, it's so funny, dude. Yeah. It's just bizarre. It just shows you, like, a, a, I love all the documentaries because you get an yeah. inside scoop of just people's lives. And yeah. it's just eye-opening. I love them. What the hell? I, I love them. I love them. I've, I've been watching these goddamn murder docs for, like, five yeah. years now. Ever since they started, like, half of my queue has just been that. But um, yeah. you know which one I just watched last night was touched a lot on back home and a lot of areas and, and, and places I remembered, which is um, it's called How To – how to fake a drug scandal or how to scam a drug scandal. I saw that advertised. I haven't watched it yet. It's good. Is it good? It, it's, it's, there's some really slow parts, but when like the facts come out, they're like, wow, and it keeps you watching, but it's, it gets a little slow, but just the fact that this is real life is wild. It's about chemist labs, uh, drug testing facilities in Massachusetts back home for me, one in Boston and one out in Amherst, um, which is almost Connecticut. It's like very far out Western Massachusetts in this wild scenario of everything with the felon, the, these felons that are getting released because drugs are being tampered with and it's the chemists that aren't being drug tested doing it. Like wild shit. Uh, wild, 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 wild. I always watch these documentaries and I'm like, how did they capture all this? Like even with Tiger King, it was years and years and years of footage. And I'm just, 
Mm -hmm. Baffles me. The best one is the staircase. Have you seen the staircase? Oh my god, staircase was so good. Dude, was that was so like a good. 16 year documentation and just I don't want to ruin it for people, but um yeah, I don't want to give any, but I I I like that that one was a great watch. Anyone who hasn't Dude. seen that, it's like 9 hours insane. of your life, so worth it. Oh, it was in, it was insane. It was so good though, like definitely worth it. Definitely I didn't worth watch it. that one. I missed out. What was I doing? <laughs> I don't know. You know what? It's, like a, it's a piece. It's a piece that will guarantee to make people talk about it after you watch it. Each mm -hmm. and every episode, it makes people be like, it makes you talk about it. And if you're yeah. able to talk about a show after it's done, they did their job. Like that's yeah. it. You know. Yeah. It was. It was really good. Was yeah. Really good. How, how are you and Janelle getting along? Anything changed being in quarantine? You getting at each other's throats? Or are you? Are you cool? I spend a lot of, lot of time on my roof now. <laughs> you, can't, you can't tell. Um, no, we're, we're doing good. You know, she's, she's busy doing her thing. I'm busy doing mine. And, you know, we um, obviously we're, we're quarantined together. But, um, you know, we, we give each other our space. And that's all that matters. Sure. What about you guys? Yeah, we're good. We're kind of yeah. used to we being together a lot just because Alyssa's worked from home for so long. So we're always together. And then with days, all those years, I mean, how much do you really work? You know, like I felt exactly. like I was home a lot. Um, yeah. But we'll just watch our own stuff like sometimes and but um yeah we're all good like it's all i i would really hate to be alone sorry for anyone who's stuck alone right now because that seems like it would be a nightmare yeah 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 oh, again you know it's just one of those things you just make the best of it and, and really have the opportunity to work hard on yourself because now it's like i can easily if, I, if she's chilling i'm like oh i guess i'm okay to chill right but if you're if there's nobody to like balance that off of it's like you got to hold yourself accountable that much more, I think. Yeah. You know? And I think, too, it depends if you're an extrovert or introvert, because I love my alone time. I'm obviously very happy to be here with him. But I feel like if I was alone, like, I'd kind of be chilling. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> like, I don't mind I mean, it. I never have. So just no. depends. I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm with you. I'm the same way. I love my alone time, but I'm very blessed and lucky to, to have her, you know, be a part of this with me, you know? I mean, yes. without a doubt, through, through everything and anything this stuff like this it like tests a relationship like nothing else of course. you know so i am grateful she's here for sure you should tell her to do some youtube makeup tutorial vids for girls like me <laughs> who need to learn I, she, she really should like she she could easily do that stuff she just i don't know she kind of likes keeping the mystery to herself and sure. that's kind of always been her vibe she doesn't post very often she works her ass off now she's kind of dialed back she's very like picky choosy with what what um what clients and what you know companies or campaigns she does but um she's uh you know she was a workhorse forever before that she just didn't want to do like um she didn't want to do tutorials yet like maybe she will with certain things but sure. I don't know. Okay. hey I'll quarantine just, makeup you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah exactly if yeah. there was ever time to do it that would be it yeah right yeah we have some uh we have some workout resistance bands coming and we're going to start working out. We've been lazy for three weeks. So I'm like, it's time to, we're going to start working out. And we've been watching TV and trying to do, you know, a couple, couple podcasts a week, just connect with people and, and build yeah, that platform and give thank us you for doing that, man. And thank you for, you know, inviting me over. This is, this is cool. This is good. Yeah, dude. Thank you for being on. Um, before we head out, can you give us a little circle tour of your little workout space there? <laughs> Oh, this looks like a, it looks more like a jail cell, but I'll show you. <laughs> I mean, there's really not much to it. I have my, my dumbbells. Oh, God. <laughs> here. These are a couple of towels. Here's my tripod that I just used. Um, I actually pulled everything in here because I was working out here. But I mean, you know, I got like a jump rope here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Jump rope. Um, I'll do my foam roll, so I'll do like some like yoga meditation shit and then just foam roll out, you know. Nice. It's the little things. Yeah. Love it, dude. Um, you have the sunshine. Yeah. That's all, all yeah. that matters. <laughs> yeah. And then I just post up. Yeah, I'll have like my coffee out here and chill and yeah. That's cool, brother. Great setup. A little zen space, you know. Yeah, I love that, man. Well, well, thank you so much for chatting with us. Yes. Appreciate it. And sure. it's nice catching up with you. And then, uh, yeah, whenever we can actually get rid of social distancing, let's go shoot each other. <laughs> dude, I'm holding you to it. I'm taking you with me. Let's do it. I love it, dude. All right. I'm with it. All right, guys. Be good. Awesome, man. Thanks, Thanks so again. Much. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you guys. Bye. Bye.